The Thieving Company was founded in 1895 and has been developing great products for use on leather for nearly 120 years. For this tutorial, we will be refinishing an older saddle that is dry and has lost some of its protective finish. After cleaning the saddle or any leather article, it is a good time to determine if it needs to be re-dyed or just conditioned and protected. If you do need to re-dye your leather article, make sure to start with Phoebe's deglazer to strip existing dye and finish. Then re-dye the leather article with leather dye or professional oil dye. Lastly, apply a protective top finish like Phoebe's bag coat, resiline, tan coat, or leather sheen aerosol. We have a color chart and more tips and tricks on our website at www.feeding.com. We will start by cleaning the saddle with Feebing's Liquid Glycerin Saddle Soap. You can also use Feebing's Saddle Soap Paste or Feebing's Glycerin Saddle Soap Bars for this step. Make sure to give extra attention to soiled, dry, and concealed areas. For cleaning, we apply the Liquid Glycerin Saddle Soap to Feebing's sponge applicator and directly into the leather for those hard to reach areas. After cleaning the saddle with Feebing's Liquid Glycerin Saddle Soap, we will re-dye the Latigo leather strips with Feebing's Leather Stain and Walnut. These strings had some serious cracks and have lost most of their color. Applying the Leather Stain in Walnut will help them match the saddle color more closely. For this step, make sure to wear protective gloves and only apply the stain to the strings. Covering the saddle with a cloth or rag is also a great idea here. After applying the leather stain to the strings, we will soften and replenish some of the natural oils back into the saddle leather with Feebing's Prime Neat's Foot Oil Compound and silicone lanolin saddle oil for the hard to reach areas. Feebing's Pure Neat's Foot Oil will also work great for this step. Any oil should be applied in light coats. Be sure not to oversaturate with oil. Oil can be applied after re-dyeing your saddle or leather article. Always give at least 24 hours in between coats so the oil can soak into the pores of the leather. After allowing the saddle to dry for 48 hours, we will apply one more light coat of Feebing's Prime Neat's Foot Oil with a sponge applicator to soften the leather. Make sure to get into all of the tight areas and give the saddle at least 24 hours after applying this coat. You can remove any excess oil with a soft horsehair brush or a soft cotton cloth. Our last step in reconditioning this saddle is applying a protective top finish. We make several top finishes, including leather sheen aerosol, bag coat, resiline, and tan coat. For this saddle, we will be using leather sheen aerosol. After giving some time for the prime Neat's foot oil to dry, we will apply a nice even coat by making long sweeping coats while keeping the can six to 10 inches over the saddle. This step should be done outdoors or in a well-ventilated area. Some saddles may have suede leather in the seat areas. These areas can be cleaned with Phoebing Suede and Nubuck Cleaner Kit or Kelly Cobbler Easy Cleaner. If the area needs to be re-dyed, you can use Phoebing's Suede Dye. Make sure to keep the suede protected with Phoebing's Water Protector. This is another example of a saddle that we re-dyed and protected with Phoebing Suede and Nubuck Cleaner Kit. Leather dye, suede dye for the suede areas, bag coat, and water protector to protect and preserve the leather. Enjoy your reconditioned saddle or leather article.